channel. Today is all about abs. Today's abs, you don't need a gym, you don't need anything, you just need to be at home to perform these exercises. I'll be showing you guys exercises, ab exercises that you can perform at home. And I'll be explaining everything, how you build up your upper abs, your lower abs, and your oblique. If you haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, I have these videos pumping out every week. So go ahead and subscribe and let's get started. All right guys, so before we get started, I'll go ahead and explain this, okay? This is really important. So now I mentioned there are three parts of the abs, right? The upper abs, the lower abs, okay? With the V-line, that's the V-line which we all know, and the side obliques, okay? Some people call it the side abs or the obliques. So when you're training your core, anything that has to do with crunches, okay? When you're crunching, you're training your upper abs. And anything that has to do with raises, leg raises, okay, example like leg raises, okay, hanging leg raises, captain chair raises, those are building your lower abs, okay, and building that V. And any exercise that you have to turn to the side to perform, okay, which are like side crunches or dumbbell crunches, those are training your side abs, okay, your obliques. That is very important, that's it right there, that's the, that's the code right there. All right, so now when I train my core, I make sure I do three different exercises that hits each and every part of the abs, okay? One exercise for the upper abs, another exercise for the lower abs, and one more exercise for the obliques. So I make sure I do three exercises. And I'll be showing you guys examples of these exercises right now. So now the way we are going to do, go about this, okay? There are some exercises, right? That trains more than one part of the abs. So I'll go over and explain those exercises first. And after that, then I'll move over to upper ab exercises. Then after that, we move over to obliques. Then at the end, we go over abs exercises to build up your lower abs. Let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so the first exercise we are going to go over is a plank, the plank exercise. And simply how you do this, you just plank in this position. The further away your arms are, let me say if your arms are this way, the harder it is. Okay, this is exactly how you perform a plank exercise. The plank exercise really activates all parts of the core. Okay, it really strengthens the core. If you do it this way, it's harder, and the further away you go, it makes it a little harder. If you want an easier, I recommend this for beginners. If you want to make it a little easier, you use your elbow rather than your arm. You use your elbow, and you plank this way. And I recommend, for beginners, 30 seconds. If you can do 30 seconds, if you're comfortable enough to do 30 seconds, then you can increase that time to 45 seconds and work your way up, okay? All right, guys, so that's the first exercise. Now, moving over to another exercise that activates the entire core, okay? A plank exercise engages all parts of your core. It engages the upper core, the lower core, and the obliques as well. So, this is the second exercise now, okay? It's still a seated V seat. You just sit this way, this. This works just like the plank. This engages your upper, lower, and obliques as well. You hold it this way, and if you want to make it a little easier, you can always put your hands down, but this way. Or if you also want to make it even easier, you can bring your legs down and just sit back a little bit and just hold. Hold for 30 seconds. Right there. Hold for 30 seconds, and that really builds up all parts of your core and really builds up your core strength. All right, so those are two exercises that really engages uh, all parts of your core, okay? Those exercises, most exercises that are stationary, exercises, okay, where you're not moving. Those exercises are most likely engaging all part of your core. So like the plank, the seated V-sit, those exercises engages all part of your core. So now, moving over to upper abs exercises. I'll make this simple. If you want to build up your upper abs, anything that you have to crunch down or crunch up builds up your upper abs. Anything that basically has to do with crunches, that builds up your upper abs. The reason most people have upper abs and lacking the lower abs is because we as a society are usually familiar with like crunches. You know, we do a lot of crunches. So doing a lot of crunches will build up your upper abs. So now since the upper abs is easier to be built, what you need to be focused on is your lower abs. And we'll get to that. All right, so an easy, easy, easy go-to exercise for upper abs 
which we all probably know is the sit-up. The sit-up is an easy upper abs exercise. So if you want to do a sit-up, you just go ahead. What I usually do, I could support my, my feet by using the wall, just sit up, okay? I could do this or I could just I could just sit up because my core is like strong enough for me. If your core is not strong enough yet, you need a support. Rest your legs against a wall or use like a chair or something, okay? But since my core is strong enough, I'll just go ahead and crunch and scrunch up. It doesn't really matter if you put your hands behind your head or you put your hands up, okay? What really matters is your core, okay? You just crunch up, okay? For starters, you could go 10 reps. If you can do 10 reps of about three sets, three to four sets, that's good. And if you think 10 reps is too little for you, you can always push that up, okay? You can do 15 reps. Like me, I usually do up to 20 reps, but you don't have to be me. You can do what is comfortable for you and always try to challenge yourself and move that number up, okay? All right, guys, so now let's move over to the obliques, okay? So now to build up the obliques, any exercise that you have to crunch to the side would build up the obliques, okay? Any exercise you have to crunch to the side or raise your legs to the side. If you crunch, you're building up the upper obliques. And when you raise your legs up, you're building up that lower obliques, which includes the V line. Example of this, what I do is this, okay? One. Okay, you can use your elbow as a support. Two. This is really good. Three. Okay, you do this about 10 to 15 reps. Okay. Four. You really squeeze when you come back up. Squeeze. Squeeze, okay? So this would really build that oblique and really build up the line you see here. That's what that does. So that's a really great exercise. Another oblique exercise is the toe touch, where you do this, and this is how you perform this, okay? Make sure you're squeezing, okay, when you do this, okay? Touch, 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 touch. Make sure you're squeezing your oblique when you do this, okay? If you don't, you're defeating the purpose, okay? Touch, 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 touch. I want to do a total of 30 reps. 30, 30 reps, okay? That's 15, 15 on each side or you can do 10, 10 on each side, which is a total of 20, okay? Just touch, touch. That's also a really good oblique exercise. So guys, oblique exercise basically comes down to anything you have to lean to the side, crunch to the side, or um, raise your legs to the side, anything that has to do with the side, you're training your obliques. All right, guys, so now let's address the elephant in the room the lower abs, okay? The V, okay? That's the popular V, what everybody wants. So that's, I'll show you guys exactly how you build that, okay? And it basically comes down to this. If you want to build your lower abs, which I highly recommend that, instead of doing more crunches, okay? You need to start doing more of this. I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. So to build up your lower abs, anything that has to do with raising your legs or kicking your legs up, is building your lower abs. And that's what you want to start doing rather than a lot of crunches. A lot of crunches will just really build up your upper abs, but leg raises or anything raises would build up that lower abs and really build up that V line. This is important. So after you're done watching this video, more leg raises, okay? More leg raises. All right, so this is exactly how you do it. Okay, you lean, you lean a little bit to the, to the back. What that leaning does for you, that leaning also engages your upper abs and your obliques. That's really good. So when you lean to the back, you're engaging your upper abs as well and your obliques. But now when you kick up, you're really building that lower abs and that's what you want, okay? So lean, kick, 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 kick. So this is, this is a tough one. So I recommend starting with 10 reps, okay? Start with 10 reps, and like I said, when if 10 reps is a little too easy for you, you move that number up, okay? You do 15 reps. If that's too easy, you move it up to 20. You do 10 reps of about three to four sets. And if you want to spice it up a little bit, this is exactly what I do to spice it up a little bit. 
You can lean to the left or to the right and crunch, okay? So what that does, that engages the lower abs, the left side of the lower abs. So I'm saying, so now it really activates that, that your left V line. So leaning to the left would really start building that left side of the lower abs. So this is really good. It builds the left side of lower abs as well as the obliques too. So lean, crunch, 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 crunch. You turn to the other side, you could do 10 on this side. Turn to the other side, crunch, crunch, crunch. Okay, 10, 10, something like that. That's just the different variations. Okay, that's what I do to build up to really define the lower abs. All right guys, so this is something to keep in mind. This is very important. So anything that has to do with crunches, okay, like a sit up is building your upper abs, okay? It's building and defining your upper abs. And anything that has to do with raises, leg raises, okay, is building your lower abs. And anything where you have to turn to the side, okay, lean to the side, raise your legs to the side, is building your side obliques, okay? Your obliques or your side abs. That's very important. All right, guys, that's it for today. For more ab exercises, make sure you're following my Instagram because I post my ab exercises all the time on my Instagram. And if you like this video, go ahead and like it and leave me a comment. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because I have these videos coming each and every week, okay? And let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.